but I think, you know, if you, if you are talking to people and, and you're wanting to increase your digital presence, you're wanting to increase your digital market. And it's clear from the, from the conversation today is like, you know, one, have realistic expectations of what you're going to achieve with the budget that you've got 100%. and two, make sure you get into bed with the right partner who's got your best intentions at heart, right? Exactly. 110%. And that's all I ever wish for anyone. It don't make any silly mistakes. And if you're questioning yourself, I, as I said, pick up the phone, drop me a message. Oh, Alan, what do you think of this agency? Oh, they're brilliant at this. They're poor at that. Okay, great. Actually, I wanted to use them for what they're poor at. Who do you recommend? I'll give them some options. And I'm yet to have an unsatisfied customer in that sense. I'm ha yet to have someone turn around and say, Alan, what was that intro? That guy is rubbish. I vet everyone that I work with. Hard. I, I even go to the point of saying, how many services do you have? 10 services. What are they? They list them all. Put them in order. They're like, what do you mean put them in order? What are you good at? What are you mediocre at? What are you absolute rubbish at? Because whatever you're rubbish at, I don't want to promote your service because there's no point in burning more people with that service. If you want to sell it, I'm not going to push it my side. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I had this exact conversation with Barney Durant a few weeks ago and, and Barney was like, you know, people start out and they have a specialism. And as they grow, they add a couple more specialisms and that's fine. You can have three or four specialisms as an agency, but if you're talking to someone and they tell you, well, we're a one-stop shop, we do everything, then alarm bells should be ringing because they can't be everything. Because even just something like Google AdWords in itself is a huge industry and niche to be able to specialize in it in the first place. To add even just a couple of things beyond that is probably quite hard for a business who's good at it to do. Yeah. So think realistically, if, if you were to specialize in your own industry in 10 things, would you really be a specialist or would you be more of a generalist? And I think that's what businesses need to kind of get their head around a little bit when they're looking for that, that ideal partner. Um, Alan, it's been fantastic chatting with you. I've really appreciated the, the candor and passion in your conversation. It's been refreshing to hear somebody who's not afraid to kind of get the, get the guns out and just kind of give people both barrels because I think it's time the industry had that shake up. Uh, thanks very much for your time. No worries. It's, it's, it's a pleasure. And, and, and thanks again for the opportunity. Just, just, just as a closing note, just do your due diligence. Make sure that the people that you're hiring to do the job also have the time to do it. Because so many times you get, you, you're paying companies that are going to support you, but then you get left behind because they were spending their time on other clients as opposed to your own accounts or structure or strategies. Just make sure that you have the right people in the right place at the right time.